Oh, spot on, spot off. Noah Gregson says, after the race, nobody confronts the guy. Everybody is sick and tired of Chastain, but nobody has to, the balls to get him. After he and Ross engaged in a fight following the race at Kansas, sounds like he listens to our show or you guys have basically told him he needs to step it up. Right. Oh, boy. I'm a... Uh, uh, Y'all aren't going to believe this, but I'm spot off for this whole thing. Oh, do you share? Like, mama told me that if you think you're going to get in a fight, you better swing first. Because if you don't swing first, you might not get to swing at all. So if Noah wanted to go confront him, you can't put your hands on a man and expect him not to hit you in the mouth. Which he didn't hit him in the mouth. He hit him in the jaw. And he hit him pretty hard. The audible of that is relatively loud. <laughs> and Noah's it. hair in that slow <laughs> motion the version. The hair was... The Looks it turned, like uh, all the Joey and them all turned around when they heard it like that. I mean, jo there's a cool picture on Twitter of Joey literally taking a sip of his Coca Cola right <laughs> as he gets clocked. Uh, I'll see if I can find that and retweet it for you guys. I, but, I've got it. Drew, um, Drew it's, it's 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 awesome. I'll look for it. But but here's I've already listen. I'm 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 I mean Ross <laughs> Ross threw hands. I mean this is like the third or fourth time we've seen him in his NASCAR career throw punches. And maybe this is why everybody is scared <laughs> to, to confront Ross. Because Ross ain't his – listen, just because you can throw hands don't mean you can fight. But if you know a guy's going to throw hands and you ain't really the throwing hand kind, you ain't going to walk up to the guy. So, Brendan Poole, like he obviously don't want to throw hands because he says somebody needs to go whoop him. Well, I'm going to tell you he didn't whoop him yesterday. Well, it was the guy who grabbed him. <laughs> if you grab my shirt or you push me, I'm going to hit you in the mouth because I don't know what else your intentions are. It's self-defense yeah. at that point. I don't know how I, – I, I mean, listen, the security guys, If if here's, here's where I'll, I'll say I'm spot off for this too. If you're a security guy, okay – and your intention is to break the fight up. As soon as they grab each other, what should you do? Break it up. Break it up. You gave Ross an advantage by letting Ross throw a punch and then not letting Noah. That's not really true. They, the, I mean, Noah could have went in there and swung first. I'm just Could've. saying from a security guard perspective, you well, either. Well, they're told to break fights up, but if Noah gets they, a shot. They, well, then why didn't they break it up? They did break it up. No, they didn't. They broke it after, up after, after he got popped after in the mouth. He got popped. So is it a is it a fair scenario? They didn't. I saw if, people if, ask if you grab me and I pop you in the mouth and then they grab you and you can't they swing didn't back. Break is Regan that fair? And, and Ty Dillon up at Watkins Glen when they were yelling at each other for thirty seconds, each other, holding each other's uniforms. They shouldn't break them up. Listen, I like, love this. I'm spot on for this happening. I'm spot off for the way Noah went about it, and 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 now you, all the other stuff comes out about how there was a confrontation on an airplane. Between the two oh, of these really? guys after Talladega, where Noah apparently was ha not happy with Ross Chastain. Um, and listen, I've seen, I've heard about people getting their ass beat at the airport. I've heard about people getting their ass beat in their own motorhome. I've, this, this, this is part of our sport that not everybody Might be gets the same to person see. Now that I think about it. Not, not everybody gets to see. Not everybody gets to hear about all these things. Well, I love the fact that this is out in public, but if I'm Noah Gregson, I'm going to confront him. I ain't. I'm, I'm not going to put my hands on him. But if he raises his hands above his waist or puts his hands on me, I'm going to knock him out. Yeah, I don't. Listen, you can't go up there. Like I heard his interview afterwards. He's like, somebody's got to grab him. No, you don't got to grab him. You got to punch him in the face. <laughs> like if you grab him, you're going to get punched in the face, which you did. <laughs> and you know, like even on the racetrack, he took a couple shots at him, and he almost hurt. He almost he hurt us. We were chasing uh, Ross down for fourth last twenty laps or so, and. We're catching him, catching him, catching him. We come up on Noah, and I wasn't even aware that they were having a feud at this point. Noah, like, we're running the top, and Noah just takes a swipe at Ross, completely misses him, and then stacks us up. Like, ends up in front of us in the top lane and, and costs us. So now you're technically helping Ross. It's just like, listen, like, uh, what was that, Mob Deep? You, there's no such thing as halfway crooks. Like, you're going to either do this or you're not. Like, go if you're, gonna, if you're mad at the guy, go punch him in the face. If you're going to wreck him, wreck him on the racetrack. Like, don't be half about it because now you're just like playing to the crowd like somebody's got to go hit him so i'm gonna go grab him well then you just all you did was make him look like you just enhanced the legacy of the don't give a f to her because you walked up put your hands on him the funniest thing about the video was ross telling him you better stop yeah you better stop boom now i'm gonna clock in a jaw like <laughs> like that's the funniest thing about the whole video like hey, listen if you're gonna go in there you better go in there swinging because and he right smiled. now you see him smile yeah afterwards. oh he's like when they got him finally <laughs> but listen to your point like i tweeted it last night and people seem to agree but like 
Let it be a hockey fight. Let the let them beat the hell out of each other until they're on the ground. Then you go break it up. Like everybody say, if you jump in as a crew member, you're suspended for the rest of your life. Like just let these guys because that, that then when you see that because these guys go into these things knowing somebody's going to break it up. Yes. It, you know, it's like that. Uh, what was that Daisy Confused when you're trying to egg the guy on? Like if you go in there and punch him one time, they'll break it up before he ever gets to you. That's what these guys are doing. They're going into these fights knowing we're not going to get into a fight. As soon as I touch this guy, they're going to break it up. Like. This Noah, who was it? Hemrick a couple years ago. We gotta get him boxing lessons because mm-hmm. you know Ross clocked him. Then I think Noah Hemrick got a hold of him last year or two years ago when the extended yeah. deal. Like, like, but if you're gonna go in there, you better go in swinging because now you just look like an idiot. Like he did this when who's the first guy that that Noah punched in the Xfinity race is about four years ago, three four years ago. Burton was it? Was it Harris? Yeah, remember Harris? Oh, Harris. What did get- Noah do? Swung, yeah, right away, and that was like it. So he swung on Hemrick quick too. Yeah, he missed. He, he missed. Swung. But he swung. I mean, he'll it, throw hands. It's just, but you got to connect at some point. Here, like, here, here's the best thing about this whole <clears throat> thing is Ross Chastain is the most talked about person and persona on the racetrack right now. Even even when the guy doesn't win, you're talking about him with a hell melon, or you're talking about him with whatever. Noah Gregson is one of the most talked about guys off the racetrack. Obviously, last year he had a lot of success in the Xfinity Series. Not so much right now in the Cup Series. The only thing that can make this feud and rivalry better is if two things. They actually race around each other a bunch in the future. That's going to be hard given what Noah's got going on in a, in a lame duck situation with Chevrolet and the support they get versus what Ross gets. But the other thing is, why is Josh Wise not set up a camera this morning with a live feed for what it's going to look like when they're working out together all week. I was say they both do that deal, right? They're both in that Josh Wise deal. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Netflix. They, they just have like M- uh, MMA. Where's classes. the Netflix show? I mean, like, it's but just- Noah's Noah said in his comments I, on pit road after he got hit in the jaw that he's going to see him this week and he ain't scared to do something. Okay, he like. <sighs> The problem is, I feel like Noah, like I said earlier, I think he plays to the crowd. When you're doing things that are not for yourself, we saw this with, was it Byron at Watkins Glen? Like, completely out of character for him. He went up to try to wreck or run into Kyle Busch. Like, he was getting egged on by the spotter and the crew chief. Like, you better go up there. and I think Chad was crew chief. And it's like, you better go up there and handle it. And it's just not out of character for him. So when he went up there to handle it, he ended up knocking the front end off his own car. Yeah, it looks out of fish out of water. So it's like... Like you're, when you're doing stuff that's not technically for yourself or or how you actually feel, like if you're playing to the crowd of listening to you guys last week saying somebody's got to do something to this guy, like you can't go in there and just grab his shirt and think that that's going to be the end of it. Because well, there's obviously something has happened before. Oh, he wrecked the Metallica. Well, I mean, so, and I, I think that was not Ro- away from that the was not track. Ross's fault. Away from the racetrack, something else has happened. So there's already something. There's going history. On there. So <laughs> the best part is. Noah grabs his uniform. What's Ross do? First thing he does. Grabs his hand. Grabs his right hand. And then when he tells him you better stop, Noah gets a little more aggressive. Bam, that's it. But I will say that. Watermelon punch right to the jaw. Ross did let go. He did let go of his hand when he swung. But I mean, but that's, he took away the first move right away. So if you don't go. Do you still train with him like Josh Wise and stuff? Like you see him? I mean, I'm surprised, but yeah, still in the Chevrolet program, surprisingly, yeah. So you're, you're gonna have to, you'll be around him this week. Probably, yeah. What do you think? Like? He see each other every day, and I'm not not afraid to do stuff, yeah. What do you think it's gonna take to pull this out of the pull this man? I don't know, man. We'll see. You okay? I don't think he's in the Chevy program anymore. I think he's probably out. I, I don't know. It's, you think he's uninvited to I'll Josh Wise? Credit. I'll give him credit. Like, at least he didn't just get out of the car and say somebody should beat him up. He went over there and oh, made yeah, some kind sure. of attempt. But you got to make a better attempt next time. On the racetrack and off. Like, if like don't. I know he said something about he rest, respects Marks, but you definitely took a swipe at him. Like, so what were you trying to do there? Like, get in, like do what Larson did, get in front of him and block. You know, if you see he's run the top, run the top and block him. But when you take a swipe at him, miss, and it actually hurt the guy that's chasing him, that doesn't seem very sensible. Social media after the fact from Ross oh. Chastain was brilliant. Oh, PR yeah. brilliant. I've seen some, yeah. Well, uh, PR brilliance. We're a no push policy at Track House and um, a drama free day. Drama free day, yeah. Another, uh, another drama another free drama day. Free day. Yeah. Uh, P- PR brilliance. If that's, that's him, that's fine. congrats. If it's his PR team, okay. it may be It may be Jason f- Schultz for all we know. Uh, that is true. <clears throat> no, he's not that witty. He's, <laughs> he's not that smart. Like, no. <laughs> He'd Dude, be Park, video. Maybe Jason is a guy who's video all parks? this stuff. Don't forget where he parks. You think he I came want, up with that? I want to see. 
Yeah, he parks in the VAVIP park. And I yeah. want to see Jason Schultz's video from yesterday. It's got to be epic. Andrew? Andrew's He's home. probably seen it. He, he was home? He was home. Oh, oh well, we can't give Schultz credit for anything. All right, then you lose, Jason. Sorry. <gasps> what an idiot. Yep. You can't miss races. First week, first year full time out there.